Where is retail investor sentiment? We've seen a lot of ups and downs over the last few weeks. Um, a lot of people got into the market during that big bull market during the pandemic. How are they feeling right now? Pretty cautious, Frank, and that's really been the case for the last few months. Cautious, but a little promiscuous when you look at some of the tickers that they're trading, when you look at some of the things that they're interested in. We look at this all the time in Investopedia because we get millions of questions every day from investors wondering what to do or what something means. But just think about the things that have been happening lately. You had that near bond catastrophe in the UK with the guilds nearly collapsing there. You had the spike in CDO and CLO trading. That's enough to get you interested because that's a 2008 reference there. You have the recession drug be getting louder and louder every single day. Heavy options trading, especially in those zero days to even S&P mini futures. We've seen a lot of action by retail traders in that part of the market. And then you have this extreme bearishness, which is usually a contrarian indicator. We see that in our own sentiment surveys. You see that in AAII. Pretty much everywhere you look, a lot of caution. But you see some folks starting to dip in, and you see it in the money flows because we're seeing money moving in to mid cap and large caps. And you look at the Dow performance over the last couple of weeks, the Dow's had a pretty good last couple of weeks. Dow Industrials potentially leading us out of this bear market. All right, Kev, we want to follow the money here. You sent us some of the hottest trades and the hottest tickers. Uh, Tesla's number one. Obviously, there's just a cult around Tesla. That's always going to be a popular stock. But I found this interesting. One of your top trades is the QQQ, which is obviously the NASDAQ 100. And then one's the SQQQ, which is shorting the NASDAQ 100. And then the TQQQ, which is triple leverage the, the, the NASDAQ 100. So what does that say? How do investors feel about tech right now, at least mega cap tech? Yeah, you got this yo-yoing of emotion. You got on the one hand investors betting for a further collapse in the queues in the top 100 stocks in the Nasdaq. You got others investing, uh, betting on a big rally there, and that's pretty much what we see across the board. So I was looking at the hottest trades. Fidelity tracks these on the daily basis. Tesla, of course, is going to be very, very hot today. SQs, the TQs, Amazon, Spy, just straight. Sp by and the queues themselves. That tells you that people want to get back in and they're thinking there could be a rally here off the bottom. Uh, you never know and it's hard to time the market. That's why we don't. But you see this extreme uh, pull to the one side of further downside and then the extreme pull of further upside. Folks trying to capture that. And when we look at people are searching for on Investopedia, they're still pretty cautious. They're looking for things like what are gilts based on what was happening in the UK. They're looking at the best one-year CD rates. That's a super cautious bet because they think they can get more money in the bank than the stock market. They're looking for the best high-yield savings accounts. Uh, they're looking for what is a margin call. Could be a reference to the movie. And then they're looking for a timeline of stock market crashes. And don't forget, Frank, today, an ignoble anniversary for Black Monday, 1987. And 35 years later, people are a little bit scared, but they're wondering when we're going to bottom here. Yeah, we're going to talk about that, the Black Monday anniversary in just a short time, but also looking at the VIX. The VIX is actually up today about a percent, but quarter to date, it's actually down. So you mentioned people are cautious. Are we seeing the same levels of anxiety in the market as we saw last year and the year before? Not at all, which is so interesting. It's kind of been this orderly unwinding and this orderly sell off over the past seven or eight months. It's the third worst start to the S&P 500, I think, in history, you can add that to Brian's RBI, because in the history of that of the S&P 500, we've never had a 190-odd day start as bad as this one, except for two other times the year after, usually pretty good. So the, the anxiety is not as bad as it is, and we check that through the anxiety index on Investopedia. What fear terms are people looking for? Volatility, bear market, uh, bankruptcy. So they're a little bit more scared about their personal finances and the macroeconomic environment, not necessarily the stock market, which is has had this unwinding really since the beginning of the year. Not so scared about it, but it does show you that they're still not ready to jump back in, even though monies are starting to flow into the large and mid caps, as I said, on the ETF front.